TV, the Town of Cary's Government Access Channel. Good afternoon and welcome to the October 17th, 2013 Town of Cary Planning and Development Committee meeting. Uh, I'm the chair, Don France. To my left is Mayor Pro Tem Gail Adcock. To my right is Councilman Ed Yurha, and to his right, Assistant Town Manager Mike Bajorek. Uh, we have two items up for discussion this evening. Uh, the first is uh, New Hope Church Road Trailhead Master Plan and Community Appearance Manual Standards related to ancillary buildings. And we'll hear from Mr. Paul Kuhn of our staff. How you doing, Paul? Hey, good evening, Council. Uh, the staff report before you this evening is about the New Hope Church Road Trailhead Master Plan and the seeking amendment for the community uh, appearance manual for exemption of the ancillary buildings. This is a 12-acre park uh, site located next to the American Tobacco Trail. And it's going to include a 100 space parking lot, parking for horse trailers, site amenities, including landscaping, uh, trash receptacles, bike racks, seating, and most probably most importantly, uh, a water fountains out there. There's also picnic shelters and restroom included. And the restroom structure was designed to blend with the uh, architectural context of the area. And it was derived from the vernacular um, barn and shelters out in, in this part of the, the county. Um, the building materials for this are hardy, hardy plank um, siding and hardy trim battens and a stone veneer base uh, foundation and a, a galvanized roof. We'll also have sustainable um, features including natural daylighting um, in the restroom building itself. Um, the concept is presently generally consistent with the um, community appearance manual by the incorporation of the masonry base and the additional glazing and more vertical emphasis. Uh, so we want to bring that. And I also want to mention that public art is planned to be incorporated at the site, and that's discussed in the staff report. Staff have held several public meetings and had very positive uh, responses from the public, and we presented it also to the Greenway Committee and the public art. Or pu Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Resource Advisory Board, and they've recommended approval for the plan. Uh, this concludes my presentation, so available for any questions. Thank you, Paul. Uh, questions or comments? No, I thought it was well done. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's an excellent plan. Certainly support it, something we need it, we should build it. Uh, and I think the restroom is fine the way it is. Um, question regarding changing the appearance manual uh, itself. Um, when we say that the restroom now is generally consistent with the basic intent of the architectural components, um, are we okay if we didn't change the manual? I don't know whether we want to or not, but if we didn't, are we okay with that restroom or are we going to be out of compliance and have a non-conforming structure and have to fine ourselves or something on a... 
daily that's, basis. That's why we're bringing the staff report because it is a little beyond what the, it is beyond uh, beyond what the parents manual asked for now. So we're asking for the flexibility because this is an ancillary building, and the staff felt like it was more applied to principal buildings, and so that's what we're asking for the variation here. As I recall, it would have the the new appearance standard says it has to have a certain amount of masonry, which wouldn't go with this design at all. So that's Correct. why you're asking for this exception, right? Correct. So, so you know, when you look at it, it looks like a nice little barn and it looks like it really fits out there. So I'm fine with exempting ancillary buildings in public and private parks. Correct. The, o the only question I, I have, I, I guess, with that, and I'm okay to the, the intent of wanting to do what you're doing, totally support it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't make this manual up to design restrooms. I mean, I understand that. Uh, but when we say public and private recreation areas, um, what's a private recreation area? A golf course or, I mean, um, I don't know what's, is that yes. an example? Yes. So, let's see if Ricky can help me out here a little bit. Uh, good evening. Um, things like a, um, um, you know, a private recreational area that we might have a tennis court and have some kind of restroom facility at the tennis court. Uh, the big thing is, you know, these are ancillary buildings and they're usually not on a main roadway. And so there's, you know, it, it seems like it would be okay to, to have that not be all masonry material. And so that's probably the big thing that people can't really meet or it might be too much to put on such a small minor facility. Is there a definition though of ancillary? I mean, I'm thinking of specialty grocery stores, right? We sure we had no definition of specialty grocery stores, so we had no leg to stand on with the last couple of months with ancillary. So I'm just thinking as a private recreation yeah. facility comes in and they declare something to be an ancillary structure and they want to make it something outrageous and we have nothing in the ordinance to mm -hmm. I, I'm, it's like worst case. I just sure. kind of want assurance maybe that you don't think that's mm -hmm. going to happen. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't foresee it happening. Um, however, um, ancillary uh, is probably more related to the, what's defined in the definition. It's subordinate to the principal use on the site. So, um, you know, it wouldn't be the principal use uh, on that site. So um, it would have to be somewhat like a restroom or a storage uh, unit or something like that. So that's a great question. Ed. Could I ask this question? So if you have a tennis court, would a tennis shop be ancillary to the principal use? Um, I wasn't the intention to have something like that because that's more of a, you know, a primary use on the site is a shop, you know. Well, no, I would think the tennis court is the primary. Well, the, yeah, use. tennis courts are primary so, use, but that, that's but kind it's of related. It's what it wouldn't be. I think. It's I think yeah. You got a point here about. We can I we can yeah we can define it more if, if the council would like it to make sure it's just limited to kind of like more like restroom facilities and and um, mm -hmm. other things other than you know uses where the public is going to buy things and interact or Did something you have like any that. Further questions? No, I mean I would like to see if we don't have a specific definition. I think it would be a good idea to certainly to, to get one, even if it's. Something to do with size or an ancillary building That's must be point. no more than That's right. one story or whatever I, the thing might be. I think we're hearing that we're all comfortable with what's being proposed here and the changes to the ordinance, uh, mm -hmm. both private and public parks. But I think we do want to kind of firm up what exactly ancillary building may mean or maybe just Certainly. limit it to restrooms or structures within a certain size or Certainly. square footage or something like that to make sure that we don't. Uh, have unintended consequences. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll make sure uh, I work with Parks and Rec and we'll come up with something that, that makes sense and be able to update our staff report Okay. to include that. Any other questions? Do you feel like you can have that done by the council meeting so this can still go on consent with some changes? Okay. Most definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, then that's what we'll do then. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Back here. Next up for discussion is Coca Booth Amphitheater, uh, management plan and budget. And we'll hear from Mr. Lyman Collins. Good evening, counselors. Good evening. Um, as you can see in the staff report, we are projecting another positive year for the amphitheater. Um, 
even since the since this report was written and as we're able getting closer in the final weeks of the season it's appearing that we're probably going to improve our bottom line by about fifty five hundred dollars um, we'll know even more after this weekend um, but um, right now it's looking like uh, that we will be projecting a little bit better. We will end the year a little bit better than we are projected in the original staff report. Um, but we, we are continuing to maintain a conservative pattern of projecting the amphitheater's budget, so we're projecting a um, subsidy similar to this year for next year. Um, it was a good year for the amphitheater overall, um, up in almost every area, even the area of promoted concerts where we were down, the the um, per concert attendance and the per concert um, revenue was up. So um, overall, I think it was a very positive year. We feel like we're going into the next year in good shape. There are uh, a series of seven recommendations for you, which I'll review and then be happy to answer any questions. Uh, staff is recommending that you approve SMG's management plan and budget for the 2014 season. Approve SMG's request to continue measuring DBA levels at 95 DBA and to allow again for three concerts to request to use 98 DBAs as their upper sound level limits. In addition, approve SMG's request to begin monitoring DBC levels within the appropriate Hertz ranges using a separate sound monitoring system. Uh, number three, recognize the potential risks inherent in amphitheater promoted concerts and other special events and authorize including such events as outlined in the 2014 management plan. Authorize staff to work with the North Carolina Symphony on plans to expand Summerfest 2014 and bring back to council any significant budget or programming implications to council for final review and approval. And following that, there are three recommendations that have to do with the budget office and um, they essentially are getting the monies in the right funds since we are on different, we're adjusting the fiscal year now. Um, so I'm not gonna go through the minutia of those three um, recommendations, but that's what they're doing. It's getting the money in the right place. So um, with that, I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Collins. Any questions or comments? Uh, what a great report. I love the way it's broken out so that it talks about each type of programming and, it, and, and what a great year. So Thank I anticipate that you'll be right on target again, but I just had a question about measuring sound. It's curious and interesting that the, the two shows, Robert Plant and Alabama Shakes, who were fined for going over the sound limit were not the concerts we got any complaints about from the neighbors. Um, and it was the Robert Plant concert that where the, the consultant did the measurements and he did a really nice job. I think I figured out the answer to my question, Lyman. Um, we talked before. My question was how much to rent the second sound system, which would measure the DBC, not just the DBA. And in, and I think it must already be in your bottom line number. It is, that's correct. Okay, because it says in the staff report, it says, um, SMG has incorporated the cost for rental of such a system in the overall 2014 operating budget, so it's not broken out. It's in that number. So even with that rental, our operate our deficit would be 171,242. Correct. Okay. Thanks. I think We've it's not a, changed that at all. You know, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see if this is a uh, this season is an anomaly, and if we get any more complaints about the base. But I don't think it ever hurts to have more data. Um, than less data. That so was our I mean, view. Yeah, I agree with that, so thanks. Mr. Yurov? Um, it's a fantastic venue. I mean, I, I've already brought out-of-town visitors to a concert there, even though I wasn't that keen about the concert itself, <laughs> just for the experience of going to the, the amphitheater. I mean, it's that, that kind of wonderful <laughs> place, and we appreciate you and your team. Becky is amazing. Uh, and I think this report reflects that. It, it's done with the same care and thoughtfulness mm -hmm. as the amphitheater is run. Um, you list pros and cons. So you're not just trying to sell us something here. You, you brought out all the, the negatives too. And um, I think it's wonderful. Um, you met your projection this year. It looks like there'll be a slight improvement next year. My gut feel, it's gonna be more than a slight improvement. I think you're being really conservative on this. So uh, I certainly support your, your recommendations. Thank you. I think they're well thought out, well founded. Absolutely. Um, appreciate the comments from my colleagues. My only comment would be uh, I love the efforts this past year to bring more country music venues to the show. <laughs> I hope that continues. 
Thank you. So uh, I'm assuming we're okay with all of the recommendations. No problem. We'll move this forward to council on consent. Thank you so much, Lyman. Thank you very much. Seeing no further business before us, we stand adjourned. Cary TV. Visit the Town of Cary website at townofcary.org.